Hi, I'm bringing you another small haul from scrapbook.com. Scrapbook.com is in Mesa, which is really close to me, so I get them really fast. I live here in Arizona. I live in Glendale, so it's pretty close. Anyways, I got this um, spooky collection by scrapbook.com. I usually don't get the scrapbook.com paper, but this one, I just kept on seeing it over and over. And it was really adorable, and it has some of these same colors that I'm using in the um, Primo papers, the pinks and the oranges. So look at, see, so I thought, okay, let me get this. It, it actually does match. And it has some really cute um, skeletons. And I love this page. Look at those eyes. <laughs> I love that. In fact, I was gonna get a stencil that was just eyes. Somebody put it out, maybe Tim Holtz. It's really cute. Um, so it's got those, several of those. It's got spiders and it's got spider webs on the back. So spiders and spider webs, always a classic. It's got this um, orange paper that's like a goldenrod and it has the um, ghosts. And this in a lighter form is also in the Prima collections. So that's, that'll be cute. And then it has this orange and the candy corns with the pink instead of the white. Isn't that cute? I love those. Those were adorable. So now you can see why I got this collection because it's it's got some really cute stuff. And for the price, it's unbeatable. And a different shade, a different shade of orange. These pumpkins, they go. I like the, they're not scary. You know, I like that part. You know, they're not scary pumpkins. They're real cute pumpkins. So I got those, those are there. And then it's got the words, spooky words, and it's got the moons and the stars. And it's got several pages of each, and it's got these pumpkins. It's also very nice. You could also cut them as ephemera. And then it's got this page, which has um, two by twos. So those are those are always nice to have. I don't think I have two by twos yet from for my album, so that I'm gonna be definitely relying on these. And the banner, the pumpkins and the pink, beautiful pink, and this, which just has everything thrown in here. Snakes, spiders, coffins, but in a cute way. Um, eyes, just really cute, and the pink. So that's the spooky collection by scrapbook.com. And then I got some other odds and ends. I got these from Button, Buttons Galore, and they're really cute. And so I couldn't, pa I couldn't pass them on. I absolutely love them. So I figured for the top of a mini album, you know, when you want to glue gun something on the top, a decorative object. So these are really cute. The ghosts, the bats. I got those too. And then I got this collection by... Um, Who's this collection? I think this is an American Crafts collection. Um, Happy Halloween. So I got the paper. I got the, I'm not buying too much. I got the um, the puffy stickers. I always have to get them. I, I love them. I love the feel of them. And the ephemera. Here's the ephemera, what it looks like. What's in the packet. So it's got some journaling spots, What I, is what I like. A lot of them have a lot of photos and not enough journaling spots. So this one looks like it's well equipped. And then I got the six by eight pad. And I'll show you the, this pad, the 12 by 12. I'll show you the paper so you can see. It's got cutouts, very nice journaling spots, journaling spots. You can always put something else on top of this and then journal these. This is like holographic. So this is, that's really pretty. And the back of it is a, like a Swiss dot. And then you've got this page, which is holographic. Isn't that pretty? So we've got that one. And this is what's on the back. Getting up close so you could see that pattern. In case you're considering buying this and don't know, maybe this can help you make the decision. This one is holographic also. This is a very pretty page. I absolutely love this one. So that's that's really nice. And the back of it 
is this teal color. And then you've got the traditional, the cat face. And it's got some specks. And then you've got this. Of course, it's upside down, but you get the gist of it. You get this one, the pumpkins. Again, happy pumpkins. You get the candy corn, stars, and some dots. You get this one, words. A lot of words, huh? You get the candy. This is very pretty, a very pretty plaid, isn't it? I haven't seen one like this. This is very pretty. In the back, it's got mummies, which is good. I haven't seen mummies represented much in paper lately. I think mean, Doodlebug may have one. You know, they always have those cute things. Ghosts, and these ghosts are really cute. Didn't Pebbles do a ghost like this? Maybe they're part of American's craft, so maybe that's why. Well, this is really pretty. The pink with the orange stars, white stars. Skeletons, doing all kinds of things. Hands up, hands down. Dancing, it's pretty, pretty for Day of the Dead. Which pulls up the rear end of October in early November. This, this holographic stripe. It's really pretty. Look at all the colors it, it, bring, it brings in. Oh, not making it dizzy. And then you've got this again. Another good paper for Day of the Dead. Maybe I'll do a Day in the, of the Dead album, the Dia de los Muertos album this year. I did one once and I really loved it. I found the perfect paper for it. Um, um, it was actually Day of the Dead paper by Moxie. Um, but I've got enough now in these odd colors that I could use. I like using bright colors like the teal, this color, fuchsia, those those bright, bright yellow. I like using them festive colors because it's all about festive. I love this page. I don't know what this year I've got about eyes, but I want to go to Michael's and buy a, a bag of googly eyes because I'm so into eyes this year. And then we've got this, which also is holographic. Very pretty spider webs. And then regular spider webs with the spider. Then again, the cutout sheet, and then we start again. So at least two of each sheet, and they are, you know, back and front. So I've got that, and I got those things that go with it. I showed you that, so I'm gonna put it there. And then I also got the Scaredy Cat collection by Catherine Pooler. I was looking at the Catherine Pooler stuff and then I'm like, oh, what the heck, let me throw that in there. I love it too. And what I could do with, these aren't the colors. If I pull out the pinks and the blacks and the oranges that I can use this year, like this, then um, I can use the rest to go back and do last year's because you guys know I didn't finish last year's. I'm on like day 10 or 11, um, maybe as far as 13, I'm not sure. My mother's funeral fell that on that weekend and I couldn't, that was it, took the last of me. I couldn't, I couldn't do it, I couldn't finish. But I have them all, my, my photos all organized and everything. So let's go through this, um, it's called Scaredy Cat. And I got the, the uh, a smaller one I showed you I think in the last, my last video. But these are, looks like it's single sided. Yes, single sided. So you got these really pretty stars. I love the colors of the stars so there'll be two of those this is really cute i really like this look at that the ghost with the little you know the little pops the purses the you know their back trick-or-treating bags i really like this boo that's pretty candy beautiful spiders are cute Again, you could use googly eyes with these. Cut the page and then put the eyes in. <laughs> that would be really cute. I, I don't know how I'm obsessed with googly eyes this year, like I said. This is real pretty. 
this for everybody that loves purple. Oh, this is beautiful, beautiful. A beautiful shade of lavender. Got lots of things that could go with this. This is so pretty. A 12, I could see a 12 by 12 layout on this, it's so pretty. And then we've got the moon with a cat sitting in the moon. That's different. It's cute, it's on pink paper. Doesn't come out that pink, I don't think, on the video, but it's it's pink, it's very pretty. This is adorable, fuchsia with a candy corn. My magenta colored page. This, isn't that beautiful? That's so pretty. Here's that purple again. Cats, cats as skeletons, cats as bats, cats as mummies. Oh, that's cute. Pumpkins with paws. That is really cute. This is beautiful. Look at the again. Squiggly eyes. Just go here. And then this one. I believe this is the last one, the diagonal. Yes. And then I got this. This is from the sweet and spooky doodle bug because of the pink. Um, so I can use that in my you know with my stuff this year so I got that and then I don't know why but I was just looking at scrapbook.com and I got some Valentine's collections I got this one Valentine plaid I think it was on sale but mostly because it's basics right it doesn't have a lot of colors on it it's monochromatic and um you know, I've got a lot of Valentines with different stuff on it, but this one was just, I loved it. It's its kind of simple, not complicated, you know? Like, look at this, those are beautiful. So they're double-sided, they're gorgeous papers. Look at this. So I thought, no matter what type of Valentine's album I make, this could be a staple, you know? And then decorative pages on top. This is so pretty. And it could also be used for Easter. Oh, this has a little bit of shine there. Without a foil. This one. Let's try it. This one. I think we start again right here with the heart. But anyway, I really, really like that because I was already there looking at Valentine's Day stuff. This one was on sale too. I think it's normally $14.99. It was like $10 or $9.99. And it's from the Paper Boutique. Love always. I don't know if it's last year's or what it probably is. But it's new to me and I like it. And there's 36 sheets, 6 designs. So it's 6 of each design. Okay, so you go, you know, 6 of each design. And um, it's single-sided but that's why you have so many sheets in there. I'll get up close so you can see the details, you know, the hearts. These are really cute. I'll go right here in the middle. There's that one. Look through this real quick. These. Those are four by fours. And then you got words that you can cut out. It's really cool. And then you start again. Okay, so there's a lot of each page, six. Now, this collection also has other things that go with, and I don't think I bothered looking, but it's got like a, a one pad that's nothing but ephemera. And then it's got another pad that's got the basics. So I'm, I can go back and look at those, but I really, you know, I probably won't. But but they do have, you know, an ephemera pack. It isn't a pack, it's a pad like this, and it's got like punch outs. And then, and then you've got the basics. Let me get up close so you can see those. So thanks for joining me. Um, that's all I have right now. I'm still working on 
going going through my Halloween stuff for October Daily. It's coming up soon. The more I go through it and prep, the better. You know, I thought I was going to have to make little 3x4 cards and 4x6 cards, but, you know, I've been buying single sheets, and so I've been cutting them up, and, you know, I cut up some of the leftover paper that I had into, you know, and I went through my stash, and there's a lot of black and white 3x4 cards, and there was a lot of orange three by four cards and orange and pink four by six cards. So I have a good enough stack to, to do my whole album is what I'm saying. But I am still gonna go through and do some stamping, but I'm waiting on ink. You know, I've never had this issue, but we go to the storage room and I'm opening boxes and I cannot find my box that has the ink. And it's a huge storage room and it's got a lot of stuff because I collect dolls. All my 12 by 12 albums are there. You know, but we just have to dig in deeper. And we have to take the ones in the front first. So I can't just jump in and make you know, a big mess. But so guess what I did? You'll see the order I bought from the stamp market. I bought their, their Halloween paper. I bought their Christmas paper. Christmas this year, Christmas last year. I bought their autumn paper. And then I also bought as much of the colors that went with all those collections as I can. So I think I bought like 13, maybe 15, the little mini um, um, mini inks. So I think I, I did that. And then um, I ordered from, oh, and then Simon says stamp yesterday, I think, or they have free ship, free shipping. And they sent me something else, free shipping and maybe a coupon. I don't know what it is, but but they sent me something, so I'm like, okay. So I got on there and I found their um, Simon Says Stamp, their minis also, and they have them like, you get like nine of them for $13 or something, or $19, and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. And so I went and bought like three sets, so that's 60 bucks. Because I don't have my ink, I can't find it, and I'm tired of waiting, you know. I didn't even have black soot, so I couldn't continue with my Halloween without that. So I'm like, okay, I had to order a mini of black soot. Didn't want to order the big ones because I've got like doubles of those. So hopefully, you know, now that it's winter, I can hit my storage room more often and, and, find, and find my ink pads. Uh, but I didn't, had never tried the stamp market ink pads, and I've never tried Simon's ink pads. So if I like them, I'll buy the rest of the collection, you know, but I don't want to have a lot of collections. Um, so I'm aiming to get Tim Holtz's because I love his. Um, but so maybe one of those, I could either go with the stamp market or Simon. And I also bought that thing that you can put on your, on your um, pad. It's like, it holds the little, the little uh, mini um, inks because last time I tried them, they were like all over the place and, you know, and so this holds them in place and you can put the lids there too. So it's really cute, $19.99, but it was cute. So I got that and I'll show you, they'll probably come in, um, they'll probably come in later this week, um, maybe towards Friday or Saturday, but um, I did order, I think yesterday from, from both. That's how it goes when you have nothing to do on a Sunday, but watch NFL football. And I can watch the football from my crafting den. So it's like too tempting. I'm watching the game and I'm, and I'm order, ordering. So, um, so you'll see those. And I'm still waiting on my Studio Calico. I even sent them an email. It's been, yesterday was seven days and they haven't shipped. I don't know if that's unusual for Halloween. Maybe a lot of people ordered and they're just inundated. I don't know how, I mean, it sounds like they're a big company, so I don't know. But usually my stuff ships anywhere from like three days at the most. Um, so I'm waiting on my Studio Calico. Um, I'm waiting on one um, from Frank Garcia that's still yet to come. Um, but thanks for joining me. Have a good day. Bye.